Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about someone that we haven't really talked about before, but I think we all know who they are if you watch YouTube. Okay, so they're like the number one, or I guess were the number one couple channel okay so like Catherine and austin mcbroom recently is getting a divorce like they're divorcing after 10 years okay and i haven't really covered them because it's like there's not much to say it's just like a family channel getting divorced kind of sad but 10 years together like i get it nothing be lasting out here and honestly it's kind of like the more you go on in life the more you realize like i hate to sound depressing but it really seems like it's like more of a fairy tale for real like everyone's breaking up you guys everyone i don't know one couple that really be standing strong including my own parents like that was like the start of me realizing relationships don't last like what so i don't know you guys but 10 years so like my little goal i think is just like to wait it out as long as possible like until 30 to really find your soulmate. I don't know. I think that's the only way to make it last for a long ma majority of the time because if you have a relationship that's like from in your 20s, I just feel like it's most likely not going to last. I'm not saying that when you're 30, um it's going to last, but I'd rather be like divorcing at like 40 than divorcing at 30. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I'm still figuring out life too, you guys. Like I don't know, but anyway, so we all know Austin and Catherine are divorcing, right? But then recently, Catherine posted her new man. Okay, and that's a big deal because we all know once you come out with a new man, like there's really no like going back. It's like, oh, okay, they're really moving on. Like usually if like you break up or split, I mean, there's a chance of y'all getting back together. You know what I'm saying? I think we all know. But if you bring a new man to the equation, then it's like most likely like, oh, shoot, it's like serious. Like, like she's moving on for real. That's different. So... Yeah, she recently posted her new man, and then today, or I guess yesterday, like 14 hours ago, Austin had dropped his podcast, or a podcast with his brother, Landon, so they addressed, like, the fact that, like, Catherine posted her new man, and just how he's dealing with the divorce, and kind of, like, everything, so, like, they did start a podcast, which I don't know how well it will do, It'll probably do well, like, obviously, the first episode will do well, because if anyone wants to hear the tea about, like, the whole divorce but once you stop talking about the divorce what went next but he did end up saying that he might bring Catherine on she, like that's crazy and Landon was like oh Catherine and her new man and, and Austin was like whoa 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 let's not be too crazy now but that'd be hilarious like I live for it anyway here's like the highlights I just want to start off by saying let me start it off by saying first off can we talk about the ambiance it is and, nice, huh? And I would like to say something about the ambiance, about this view. Uh, we're not at an Airbnb. I will say that. Yeah, definitely not Airbnb. Would you like to say where we're at, where our shooting location is? My home. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my home for the past year, ever since my separation. Mm. This is where I've been. Guys, yeah, so now I'm in the car. I know I'm a busy girl. Okay, I was just at the gym, but... Basically, with that clip, what they were saying is that, like, Austin was fake living in his RV. I don't know if you know the story, but he was fake living in an RV, pretending, like, you know, he's going through a divorce, having to live in an RV. And he came out and was like, yeah, I got you guys. Like, this is where I, re like, really was living. And it's, like, you know, a nice place. It's like, where we know you were not broke, okay? We know, but it just was funny. So, that was, like, how they kind of started it off. Started off talking about how much they make on Snap. Austin was playing this character on Snapchat because it's making the views and money, okay? Yeah, I think everybody kind of pretty much knew. The man's not broke. Like, all of a sudden, like, you know, you're not broke. But he was going through a hard time because, you know, the divorce. First video on Snapchat. So, from there. My announcement. Me and Catherine's mutual announcement on Instagram. Boom. Okay. We put out. A mutual statement together that okay. we obviously talked about and her and I had countless conversations of how we were gonna do it you know first we were gonna come out with a YouTube video uh, we didn't like that mm -hmm. uh, we were we had something else in mind and we felt it was just best for us to you know put out our own statements um, on Instagram mm -hmm. and that was that so we did that okay and you know life is crazy and then he talks about how like they made the announcement and, like people were thinking like is it even real because they do a lot of things for clout like are they even really breaking up i thought it was real like we all know that Catherine, like it's been coming out that like austin's cheated so many times on Catherine, and like that makes me so sad like it just makes me like feel like 
like you don't win being the good girl like honestly you guys like you don't win being like the loyal woman to men like they honestly like whores is the ones that they're cheating on the good girl with like they want a good girl to have their kids and everything like look at Haley baby or whoops my bad sorry Haley bailey Haley bailey is that her name Haley, whatever i don't know her like full name but ba like Haley dating ddg she's like the good typical girl like you know and like they just these men basically pick a good girl to have their kids and then cheat on them with whores like would you rather not be like just the girl like like i don't know to me like i wouldn't want to be with a man that's like cheating because it's like you're disgusting but like i'd rather be the one that's like knowing what's up than the one that's not probably like i wouldn't want to be locked into a cheater like i'd rather just be single doing my own thing so i get it why these girls are out here just like whatever i want to be single i'm on my own single time but it's fun like that connection that you'll have like being a hoe whatever you will never really have that deep connection as like the baby mama has with the guy or like the g girlfriend like they have that deep connection i don't know why these men like go and cheat and fuck it up i don't know i literally don't know but it's just like slowly 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 we're like as a generation just not believing in love you guys i don't know and i think i think it's getting me it's i think it's getting me i don't know because like 10 years i mean whatever this life is temporary anyway so it's just like you gotta hold on to like pick a person and then like you know ride it out like i don't know it's all temporary it doesn't even matter everyone has like three baby daddies now two baby daddies at least i don't know one at least one like it's at least two like nobody's like really that's why i'm trying to prolong it to me i just feel like the sooner you pick somebody the sooner it's gonna end like the sooner you rush through stuff the sooner it will end like let's just take our time and chill we're all trying to rush through life when there's nowhere to rush to where are you going wait where are you going like you have some time i mean even if you're like 30 40s you have time babe like i mean and maybe if you don't and you like leave this earth then it, do it doesn't matter we're all we're all going there eventually so why are you rushing to like die i don't know i'm just here for the ride <laughs> like, i don't know you guys i don't know we all don't know i realized that no one can make me more down bad than myself so i fed into it okay i had the internet in a chokehold right mm -hmm. i knew at that moment that anything that i was going to do post they were going to be watching and they were going to believe right so next day i went and got an rv mm -hmm. a motorhome and i parked it across the street <clears throat> from our house from Catherine. Mm -hmm. right and that went crazier than the bonnet video yeah right because people have never i don't think anybody has seen, ever seen something like that yeah i don't think anybody has ever seen anybody after a breakup move across the street in an rv from their lady in an rv right it just <laughs> sounds crazy right honestly i get it because like why not monetize like if you're going through a bad time or whatever like yeah you're gonna look stupid but like whatever get some money okay that that's literally what i do like you guys like you know, I'm always going to be real with you. If I'm going through a bad time, I'm going to post it. I really don't care because, like, what is it at the end of the day? Like, we all go through these things. Not all of us post them or are crazy enough to post them. A lot of times, like, we'll be like, oh, my gosh, this happened to me. I got to keep it under the wraps. I don't want anyone to find out. I'm the opposite. I'm like, everybody's got to know about this. Even if I look dumb after, like, for, like, posting stuff and then, like, working it out and then still, like, kind of staying or whatever. <laughs> like, you got to do that enough times to, like also like i feel like when i post stuff it makes me open my eyes a little bit more like it's like girl like wake the fuck up like are you dumb like you know what i mean because like if i just like kept things a secret and was like yeah guys everything's good 100 percent like my life is a fairy tale it's so perfect like to me that's fake i can't be fake even if i look stupid if it's the truth i am going to tell you guys like i'm gonna tell you if something dumb happens to me and i just like let it slide like you know i'm gonna look stupid publicly i do not care because that's what i did why would i do that and like some people are looking down privately i don't care you say get a little bit of like a check from it <laughs> like i don't know but you guys when i post things like i know it is a build up to like ending shit you know what i mean like you know sometimes you know what you have to do and that things aren't going to work out but you just like kind of want to like hang on to see where things go you know what i mean so yeah you guys i totally understand austin in that because it's like you know things are ending so it's like we're, we're in it for the ride like let's just post it anyway it's funny it's funny to make people laugh at your situation also helps people because like they're they might be going through stuff too and like to me it helps when people talk about like their situations it's like okay 
we all don't got it figured out we're all like we're all human okay like we don't got it figured out and we're just here for a good time not a long time i don't know so you know there's people that like want to come on the internet and call people stupid or oh they don't have it figured out when they themselves don't have it figured out or like look down on the people like oh i would never get cheated on that's funny because we've all been there like we've all been the type to be like oh that could not be us until it is you and the universe will humble you i'm just saying if you're like oh that could never be me even if you look at a homeless person and you're like that could never be me it very much can be it very much can be girl boy whoever's watching okay just keep that in mind okay you can be up you can be down that's how the world works thinking that can never be me i have so much money i'm rich but look at diddy you guys okay you can be taken away from you for a second like a court case like you may like not in diddy's situation because like he did stuff allegedly but i'm saying like someone could falsely accuse you of anything wrong place wrong time uh you get convicted for something you didn't do or something anything and then you're uh, in jail like stripped away of everything you have you lose everything because you can't go to work you can't make the money how you were making because like falsely accused whatever just wrong place wrong time a family member passes away now you're depressed so many stuff so much stuff that you didn't even think was a possibility okay so just keep that in mind because there's a millionaires in jail be like there's a millionaires in jail so and what what good is money if you're in jail so just like you know if you if you're having a bad time you're free if you're out of jail you're watching this i know some people in jail watch my channel <laughs> like it was so funny i get those comments like i'm watching you from jail i don't know if they're trolling or not but anyway thank you if you're watching from jail i don't know but i'm just saying it could be worse any situation even if you're j in jail it could be worse than that like some people that are like captive captive rather be in jail because you have some freedom like you can always be in a worse situation so just be grateful that's how i like learn to really love life is just like appreciate like little things like right now i have like i'm in cold canada you guys but i have freedom that's really nice some some countries don't have freedom like you know people are complaining about the weather here oh my gosh it's cold for six months i mean i have freedom if i want to to buy a ticket and get out if i really wanted to but a girl wants to stack her money in the winter <laughs> you know what i mean different things so like you just have to think about it like you just have to think about like what do you have that's grateful like i have that cute hair like i'm so grateful for that um if you don't have cute hair but you have a cute face uh you have money to buy clothes i have money to buy warm clothes like just little things like that i'm happy about that's what keeps me happy honestly question number one <laughs> okay yeah. question number one what really caused the breakup Let's just start. okay well before i get into the the messy the messy messy i just want to give a little toast to Catherine and i mm. our 10-year relationship because 10 years is a long time. Ten years is really long. It's a long time. Yeah. And her and I have accomplished so much together. We had three beautiful, Very amazing beautiful children. Um, and I wouldn't change anything for the world. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, all of our ups and downs. Um, all of our trials and tribulations. Uh, we really built something special. And I'm glad we're able to continue it still being the best of friends. Amen. Right? Amen. Well, with that being said, mm -hmm. you know, life does happen. Mm -hmm. People move on. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, people don't know. Who's calling me? People don't know this, but for the past few years, her and I um, were struggling with our relationship. Um, you know, just like any couple does, right? Everyone, you know, has struggles and goes through things. No relationship is perfect. Um, but I think ours was a little different because it's in front of everyone, millions of people, right? It's all over the internet. Um, we have businesses. We have three kids together. We have so many things that go on in our relationship besides just her and I, you know, which can cause conflict. Um, and believe it or not, but... I don't even know if I should be saying this, but we, we're being honest. Um, the first fight that I had with Gib uh, when I went through it with that fight, um, during that, around that time, her and I um, talked about separating then. Um, At that exact time? Around that time. So around. you was getting beat up in the ring and beat up in your relationship. <laughs> That's a double whammy. Around that time. Um, very, very tough time for us, but we pushed through. We both decided that we were going to keep trying, work on things, um, and we ultimately put our happiness last and put our kids first. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we were doing you know, for, the for the last few years of our relationship. And... It just got to the point where we felt that we were going to be much happier separated than together. I don't know, you guys. Yeah, it just seems like, I don't know. It's hard to, like, forever, like, 10 years. 10 years is a long time, and even then it can't work out. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. I just, I'm just going to prolong it until I'm like, I don't know. Because you can't, you can't for sure say. Like, when you meet somebody, you're like, oh, my gosh. 
they're the one they're the one and then they're the one until they're not the one you know and you just like it just life goes on life goes on that's it like and it's getting like more likely that like everyone's just gonna like have kids and not be with their baby daddy like that's kind of what i'm like thinking that I, you know eventually like the whole everywhere is gonna be like that it's just like you're not really with your baby daddy but then you meet somebody else that has kids too and then it's like you know you see your step kid your kid is their step kid and you guys have a kid together i don't know it's all mixed like that so it's kind of sad but i don't know who knows it, like maybe there's some people that are like together and like locked in past 10 years i don't know it's really like these men like to cheat like let's be honest like it's because austin is cheating like let's be real that you can never really truly be obsessed and in love with your partner as a woman when your man cheats and guys don't understand that they're like oh i cheat and we still love like i cheat but i still love you no but you're not understanding like my feelings towards you are different now like i don't even look at you the same that's the problem not the fact that you don't love me or whatever i cannot love you how i used to i don't even think of you as that great amazing man that i once did cordial and how respectful we did it and yeah. you know her and i would never it would never get messy to the point where it would affect our kids. We've always put our kids first, even when things were good. Uh, we never, you know, made up things or did things for views. Uh, we always kept it, you know, true to ourselves and genuine. And the breakup was genuine. That's all I can really say is that it was genuine. It was mutual. And here we are now. Um, but with her and I, we get to see our kids every day. She lives down the street from me, I think like five minutes, seven minutes the most. Um, you know, her and I are in communication every day about our kids. Um, you know, either I'm taking them to school and picking them up or sh she's taking them to school and picking them up. We switch off. Um, we switch off nights. Like, we see them every day. Okay, actually, like, now that he said that, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if I can handle that, you guys. Like, maybe not now, but, like, maybe eventually when I'm at, like, that more mature state in my life where it's, like, I could handle them having a baby mama, like, another baby mama. Like, imagine you're with a guy, and they have a baby mama, and the baby mama lives down the street. Like, what he just said, like, he lives down the street, and they're in communication all the time. Like, I know that. Like, I know you have to be in communication for the kids, but it's, like that like i mean they had an intimate relationship at one point and they had feelings for each other like sometimes you wonder is that still there like some guys are like yeah with your with your baby mama you're locked in for life like you know can always be with them like that's the baby mama like you know they have like ultimate access at any time like you know how guys are the baby mama want to hit like guys are more weak too i feel like the baby mama would be the more one to be like no you know what i mean i feel like Catherine would be like the more the one to be like no but i bet if Catherine was like yo like come over like he would be in, the baby daddy would be in there in the instant like i don't know if i could handle that like them seeing each other hanging out like you know behind my back that's why i just don't even want that for myself but i'm not there in life you know like i don't have kids so maybe if i had kids i'd have to like ease up on that and like i'd probably understand like i'd understand more because like oh i have a baby daddy and like you would understand but no, I just don't want that for myself. Like, I'm 24, so I obviously don't see that happening. But you never see that happening. It just happens. So that's why I just rather, like, really prolong who I have kids with. Because I know whoever I have kids with, that is, like, a permanent thing. Like, kids are permanent, okay? So that's why I'm very, like, wait until I'm 30. Because, like, right now, 24, my front, my front something... I forget what it's called, but a part of your brain's not even developed until, like, 25, okay? And then you start getting baby fever, like, 26, 27. I really hope I don't get that, but, yeah, you guys, like, I just feel like prolong having kids. That's kind of, like, my motto, because why? Like, you don't even have yourself established first. Like, I, I'm just talking for myself, you know? I just don't know. Yeah, so, now. Ugh, fuck. Don't do it. Let's don't do it. Now, right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time no, to end the now podcast. Now to Catherine's post on Instagram. Let's talk about it. Let's get right to it. Let me get up real quick. What are you doing? When things could get messy. We're talking about the picture on Instagram. When things could get messy, we got to clean it up. What the fuck? So you don't want to talk about it? So you know what happens if you don't want to talk about it? You see what that? No, what no, that no, 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 no. That yeah, that, that you're just in, it it's just indicating that something's messy. What does that mean? What does that say? It's a McDonald's bag with a broom, Mick broom. Haha, <laughs> that shit's ass. So, so now, now. <laughs> no, I'm seriously. No. We're gonna use this. Okay. Can get messy. We're gonna sweep it up. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, like Catherine came out with her new boyfriend, so that's what he doesn't want to address. Is that like she literally made a post about it? So this was T. This was T, you guys. And they really need to know this. This is part of the breakup. <laughs> the breakup category. So, Catherine had recently uploaded an image on Instagram of her and her new man, right? There's a new man, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what was that like for you? People, people have a whole lot of questions. People want to know, who is this guy? 
Do you know this guy? How long has this guy been in the picture? Okay, I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, so don't, don't get away from it. I get it. Don't get, get away it. from it. Let me get situated, man. How about let's just start with, boom. Instagram picture is uploaded. What happened? <sighs> you want to know, like, where were you? When the truth? Like, where were you? When, what my honest, honest answer? Just where, first of all, where were you? Where were you when the picture was uploaded and you saw it? I was with my kids at Sky Zone. Okay. And, and were you aware that this picture was going to be uploaded? I was not. Okay. But I will say, there was a lot going through my head. It's a lot. Sorry, guys, if you hear the damn dog barking. <laughs> That's one thing about doing the podcast outside. We got some noises going on. But I was at Sky Zone. There was a lot going through my head when I seen it because I was playing Wait, with kids. I was going down the slide. Really shocked. Bro, I was going down the slide, right? I was going down the slide. Like, Wee, my kids and shit, playing, playing around. And I was like, I was uploading content on Snap as I was playing. And then since her and I follow each other on Snapchat, you see like the bubble, the bubble of people posting new content. I look and I'm like, is that who I think it is? She, she did it. She finally did it. She finally did it. There was, there was a few things that were going through my head, right? One was she finally did it. Which, when, when, which, I say, when I say finally, finally did it, means that you knew that something could be posted at any time, basically. Correct. I knew of him how before anybody else knew about it. how long? We're not going to speak about the timeline because the timeline is the timeline, right? But, <laughs> but what I will say is people on the internet think when news breaks or when they find out, I find out. Mm. But the truth is, I already knew about him and I've already met him a few times. Mm. Good guy. Seems like a great guy. And has a lot of respect for me, which I appreciate. Every time I see him, he shakes my hand. We acknowledge each other, um, which is very important because, you know, he is someone who's around my kids. Um, which, and, is, which is very serious. Yep. And, you know, I have daughters as well. You know, bringing a man. another man around my, my daughters is, is tough for me, but um, I'm trusting her judgment, Catherine's judgment on, you know, bringing in the right person that can be around our kids. I think we all knew that Austin didn't not know who the man was. Like, they have kids, obviously. Like, he's going to know, like, she has a boyfriend and all that. But we knew, like, that was his first time, like, seeing, like, her post it. Like, I don't think she's going to be like, hey, I'm going to make this post. Like, maybe, maybe. We don't know for sure. But, like, he just confirmed that. So that was, like, news to me. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, he didn't know she was going to post. So he is kind of, like, finding out, like, okay, she's going public with it. At the same time, we did, basically, like, public, publicly with it. So that was crazy crazies it's funny because like he's like i hope like when i come out with like my new thing like you guys support me as much no that's not how it works we're not going to support you because the whole reason why y'all didn't really work out is because you cheated funny how he didn't bring up like the whole cheating at all like not one time like trying to get down to the t but the t is like y'all che- like you cheated so then like you know obviously when she moves on it's gonna be like finally good for her good for her honestly if you move on it's like bro you cheated and like now you got a new girl but it's like whatever and like he does have like a new like he is seeing somebody allegedly because like her purse was in the background of like one video was like a green purse but that's a different video another reaction i had was and i said when i mean finally i mean finally in a way of like now i feel like i'm set free from the internet because ever since our separation everyone kept saying how i was obsessed with her i won't leave her alone how i want her back and so once she posted that, now it gives me freedom to, to post whatever you want. To post whatever I want. Even though, when, when you do post something, <laughs> the hate still go down no matter what. No, no, because I would really hope from you guys that you hope I, you get, <laughs> I get as much love and support that she has been getting. And I'm very, you know, happy that you guys are supporting her and that's what she deserves. But I also hope when I find somebody that makes me happy, you guys are happy for me as well. That's what I hope. <laughs> One day. So again, finally in that terms, right, of her finally being able to do it, which ultimately was going to set me free. And then also, second, extremely happy for her. Um, and extremely happy for him. Because right, that's a big deal for all parties involved, for me, for her, and for him. You know, now he's involved in a lot that went on, you know, previously mm-hmm. before him. Mm-hmm. And that's tough. That's not easy to do. You know what I mean? So now he, he has to deal with, you know, people not knowing him and giving their opinions about him. Oh, that's a whole thing on his own. That's a whole thing about his own. So, again, um, I was really, really happy for her um, that she found someone that she can connect with on, on her level. Um, sorry, guys. I got all this hair from you. getting hot flashes? This nigga's old as hell. That's a lot from me right now. Not like, emotional. <laughs> chill. Um, <laughs> so, again, uh, but from the energy, he did look up and everybody, like, wave by. He waved by and stuff yeah. like that. Is he foreign uh, or something? Is he, is he speaking English? Uh, I think he's learning. But. Oh, yeah, you guys, it's funny, like, just how he talks about him, like, he doesn't really know too much, but basically, like, he doesn't speak English, which is, like, fine, but, like, I heard that basically Catherine kind of, like, speaks to him through a translator, like, sort of, like, they communicate kind of, like, I don't know, like, allegedly, like, what language, like, she speaks, what language he speaks, but, like, I think she's mostly English. If you guys know, put it in the comments, but that's what I heard, that they were talking to each other, like, kind of, like, translation, like, out of all the men. But, I mean, whatever, that's her preference. I personally couldn't. Like, we have to kind of, like, communicate. Because, like, these men already can't communicate. So, what do you mean I have to, like, commu- can't even speak English? Like, I speak English to these men, and they still are not getting it. So, like, I couldn't imagine, like, having to translate, and then, like, just, like, they wouldn't get it, like, for sure. But I think he's really just, like, not probably about the clout, which is good. Like, you don't want to, I don't want her to have a man that's, like, using her for clout and stuff. Like, oh, this is a good chance to, like, sweep in and, like, you know, get clout off them. And, like, Catherine doesn't find love. Seems like he's, like, genuine. So, let's hope. Doesn't seem like he's trying to use her for clout. But you never know with these men. I'm telling you. You never know. So. 
I don't, oh. I don't know like much like personal shit about them other than like what the internet has dug up. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, but they do look. They do look like a match each other's energy. Yeah, 100%. For sure, for sure. And <laughs> like I said, you guys know more than me. The internet is better than private investigators. I'll tell you that because well, well, have they already been finding all they, shit? They've been digging up all types of shit. Uh, that I'm like, this whole, what like, like, eight, eighth grade and shit. <laughs> that shit's crazy, bro. But I'd be a be a asshole for no reason. I don't want to sit down and be like, listen, bro. Like my kids are my life, and if anything happens, like it won't be good for you. Like I don't want to have a conversation, and I hope I never will. But that does cross my mind, bro. Like that does cross my mind. You know what I mean? Because again, my kids are my life, bro. Like I can cry right now. Don't do it. I can cry because don't I, I am where I am because of them. You know what I mean? All right. I didn't expect for him to get so emotional like that's crazy like he like literally started like almost crying but I get it I feel like he was sending a message kind of like to the guy by saying that because like obviously they'll probably watch it because obviously her name's in the title so like I think he thought like obviously they'd watch so it's like he's just kind of letting him know like yeah like if anything happens to my kids it's gonna be a problem but without like telling him directly but like just telling him through the internet like you know like you're gonna see this and like if anything happens there's a problem which i get it like you don't want other people like around your family that's what i'm saying these broken families oh my gosh i hate this like i hate it i hate the broken family thing and i just like i don't want that but nobody wants that like 10 years later you wouldn't even know and um yeah i would lose my mind if something were to happen to them um in any capacity so again um yeah that's all i'm saying well, since the tears are coming, it's, <laughs> it's time to cut it up for our first episode on the pod. Yeah, with the tears, that's crazy. Can I get myself back? It is came out crazy. That's how you know it's heavy on my heart. Hey. Yeah, you guys, that's all for this video. Basically, he did a podcast, kind of spilt some tea, kind of summed it up, like, tried to answer the questions that everyone was, like, asking about the relationship, about the divorce. Catherine's doing well. That'd be hilarious, hilarious if, like, Catherine came on, like, to talk. Like, what? That would be crazy. I know I'd be fuming if I'm her new man. But, yeah, that's hard. Also, for the new man, that's hard to come to a relationship that's, like, public. Trust me, like, I know. I realize, like, what it's like having, like, being, like, a public person. And then, like, also being with a private person. It's, like, kind of hard. And I don't think it, like, usually works that well. Depending if you want to be online or not. Like, it, it doesn't. It's hard. It's hard. I'm not even going to lie, you guys. It's hard. So, yeah. I'll keep you updated if there's any updates. Oh, my gosh. And then, also, there's, like there was some people saying like oh my gosh could Catherine be pregnant like because austin literally went to this fortune telling girl and she was like someone in your life i mean he could have just paid her to say this like for clout but like she was like yeah some girl close to you is like pregnant but she might not even know like just all this stuff and he was like, but like that would be crazy like that would be the next thing if like when like Catherine gets pregnant and like has a, then you know it's like whoa like because like they could probably still go back to each other i don't know for the kids like i don't know it's sad when parents don't work out but bro he's cheating so it's sad overall but yeah that's the updates that's like they've been trending they've been trending like a lot for this it's been going on because you know divorce is messy but they've been handling it like okay so yeah with that being said i'll see you in the next one <laughs>